All right, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we've got three of the six new cars from Johnny Lightning's Pop Culture Series. Um, we've got the 1949 Mercury Coupe Custom with the Rat Fink Custom Paint Job. We've got the Black Beauty from the Green Hornet, the 1966 Chrysler Imperial Crown Custom. And... Lastly, down here, we've got a 1972 Ford Gran Torino Sport. So each of these has a uh, bit of a theme to it, I guess. This one being um, Trivial Pursuit board game. Uh, this one you've got, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Silver Screen Machines up here. Oh, boy. I just chugged a huge soda before I started recording, so I'm like burping up a storm over here. You'll have to excuse me. And then the uh, the Rat Fink, although it doesn't have any, I don't know, maybe they'll just have like a Rat Fink series. But, uh, so my thing with this release is, um, I'll show you on the back of one of the cards real quick. The, uh, yeah, these are the previous release. So you can see some of them, like the Monopoly one has the Monopoly guy on the roof and like, I don't know, the, uh, there's a Dodge Charger Daytona in this series, but it has, like, Monopoly written all over it. And then the the Lotus Turbo Esprit, I'm not really into that one. The Mustang had a bunch of nonsense written all over it, and it kind of ruins the cars for me. But I figured these three were uh, at least pretty factory-looking, and if not factory-looking, um, clean or a hot rod theme. So uh, I guess this this one fits the theme of the channel at least really well with being the being a hot rod so let's uh let's get into opening them instead of sitting here talking about them so we'll start off with the 1949 mercury coupe custom the ed roth rat fink car all right so here is our 49 mercury coupe um as you can see there on the side it says ed big daddy roth that is the uh the artist who came up with Rat Fink and everything. There's some information on the card about all that, so we'll go over all that in a minute. Right now, if I can direct your attention to these uh, these wheels, not not my favorite wheels, not exactly what I would have picked, but um, I mean, I guess they're cool. It, I'm not too big on you know giant chrome rims on old cars. I like them on newer cars; they're kind of cool, but old cars, I don't know. I'm picky. Definitely a really cool paint job on here, nonetheless. You've got some really nice pinstriping out on the hood there. Um, flames around the side. And then again on the side, we've got the Ed Big Daddy Roth. The little Rat Fink character painted there. And there he is on the roof again. If we come around to the back. If I can do this without dumping the car off the lift this time. We've got a Rat Fink on the roof. And then, of course, it says it on the trunk again. And our license plate says, Rat Fink. Who could have guessed that? <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, really cool looking car, though, nonetheless. Absolutely love it. So, I mean, Rat Fink is uh, very synonymous with hot rod culture. So I guess that's pretty much the, the main reason this, you know, is so acceptable. It, it is quite a an outlandish paint job but and I'm not usually too big on stuff painted on the sides like names or lettering unless it's like an actual race car but um, here we've got our card really cool card artwork on here I like this one a lot this is pretty neat um, so we have think facts for this one We've got Ed Big Daddy Roth, a hot rodder, car builder, and artist, created the Rat Fink character that symbolized the entire hot rod and car culture scene of the 1950s and 1960s. Uh, the 1949 Mercury 8 became a popular choice among car builders. Customi uh, among car builders, customization of this lead sled has lasted well beyond its era. Um, yeah, lead sleds. That's what you'd call something like this. Really, really cool car. I think the uh, these old Mercury's had like a two two hundred and fifty something cubic inch 
V8, not exactly a muscle car. You know, they were under 200 horsepower. Wasn't quite the muscle car era yet, but still a really nice car. Really neat. Absolutely love those uh, big rolling hoods and rolling fenders of the stuff from the early 50s and late 40s. So we'll take a quick peek underneath again, as we always do. Um, got 1999 playing Mantis as our casting date there. So maybe an older base or uh, an older car just repainted for this year. Very cool stuff. So we'll get that parked up over here. And we will move into our next car which will be the 1966 Chrysler Imperial Crown Custom, or uh, Black Beauty. So we'll get that out of the box. All right, so here is our 1966 uh, Chrysler Imperial Crown Custom. Very sharp looking car, although the first thing I'm noticing, and I know it's the Black Beauty, so it has the green headlights, but I... Uh, I may take a silver paint pen to those just because I may. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I'm not too big on the green headlights. Really cool looking car though. I mean, the rest of it is absolutely stunning looking. Nice matte black paint job. Looks really, really cool. Uh, coming around the back, you can kind of see some of the details. I think that uh, that little door there in the middle of the trunk, I don't think that's part of the factory car. Um, that may be part of the, uh, it being the Black Beauty, some of his gadgets and whatnot. Maybe a machine gun pops out of the trunk. I don't know. I never really watched the Green Hornet. Um, I watched the, uh, the reboot that they did with, uh, Seth Rogen, but I never really watched the original. I wasn't too big into it. Still, though, I really like the car. It's a really nice looking car all black Chrysler Imperial. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think these had a 440 under the hood. Um, I don't think we have an opening hood on this guy, although we can take a look underneath. It does have a, a, a green base, nice bright green base there, contrasted nicely against my dirty hands, as always. I do apologize for my dirty hands. I know I see the comment about uh, <laughs> My uh, my dirty nails. I know, I know. I'm uh, I'm a mechanic by trade, so not always the cleanest hands, but it is what it is. But anyway, we will get our Chrysler Crown Imper or Imperial Crown scooted over. And we'll take a look at our card here again. Another really cool card. Um, I guess each obviously each card is individual or is uh, unique for each individual car for the pop culture series. Um, these are my first cars for the pop culture series. I don't think I have any of the other ones or any of the previous releases. Um, so for this one, we have movie facts. It says, uh, Britt Reed is a newspaper publisher by day with an alter ego who fights crime at night as the mysterious masked vigilante known as the Green Hornet. Uh, his loyal partner and confidant, Cato, drives their technologically advanced car, the Black Beauty, which we have a very nice example of here today. Very, very cool. Yeah, I don't know. I Like I said, I saw the Green Hornet, uh, the comedy remake they did with uh, Seth Rogen. Um, it was pretty funny. It was all right. Nothing to write home about. <laughs> Although I'm not really a movie critic, am I? Um, so we will take a look at the back of this card. It's the same card on the back all around for all three cars, but there is the rest of the series. We've got a uh, Dodge Charger Daytona, the Lotus Turbo Esprit, the 2000 Esprit, Esprit. British people get mad at me if I say Esprit. <laughs> um, 2000 Ford Mustang, uh, the 66 Imperial. 49 Mercury, 72 Ford Gran Torino. Uh, these three, like I said, so the Dodge Charger is the Monopoly one, the Lotus Esprit is the 007 car, and the Mustang is the Clue car. So these two uh, have a bunch of goofy writing all over them, and then the Lotus, it's, you know, it's a Lotus. I'm not really super into Lotuses, or Lodi, 
How do you say lotus? What's the plural form of lotus? <laughs> um, anyway, take one more nice good look at our 1966 Chrysler Imperial Black Beauty. Nice matte black. There's our license plate. What's our license plate say? V194. Yeah, I don't know what that signifies. Um, so we'll get that parked up next to our Mercury. We will get into our last car for today's video. Very, very short video today. I've only got three cars to show you for now. Um, I do have lots more stuff on standby, not to worry. There'll be plenty more videos coming out. Um, but just wanted to do these uh, these three cars together as a series. So we'll get this guy cracked open, our 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport. All right, so here is our 1972 Ford Gran Torino, part of the, or not part of, but the uh, Trivial Pursuit car of the Pop Culture series. So very, very cool looking car. Um, it's not actually any specific car from any movie, but it does have a little card here with a bunch of Trivial Pursuit questions, and one of the questions does actually reference the uh, the Gran Torino movie with Clint Eastwood, which is a really cool movie. Um, kind of slow, but still a really good movie. Um, really nice looking car here. We've got a uh, nice metal flake green with the uh, yellow stripe that fades to green as it moves down the body. Looks really, really cool. Nice splash of contrast against that dark green with the black vinyl top. Yeah, really nice car. I believe I have a couple other Torinos from Johnny Lightning. This is a uh, one of my other Johnny Lightning Torinos, a bit of an earlier one. Uh, this is another pretty recent release. But uh, what year is this? This is a 71 Grand Torino. Um, yeah, this does, uh, this is the first one we've seen today with an opening hood. Uh, that should be a 351 under the hood there. Let me, it doesn't say, doesn't say otherwise anywhere else on the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that's a 351 under there. Um, 72, they, uh, according to my research, they were already starting to get slow by the, by 1972, I think the 351 or 5.8 liter. Uh, I think that only made about 250 horsepower down to the tires. So uh, not exactly, you know, a ton of horsepower. But I mean, I guess 250 is enough to get out of your own get out of your own way. Um, I think zero to 60 on these was a little over six seconds, which isn't, you know, it's certainly not slow. It's not what you'd want or expect from a quote unquote muscle car, but it's certainly not a slow car by any means. Um, really good looking car, no doubt. So along with the uh, little trivia questions on there, it does give you a little, Trivial Pursuit token. Can we focus on it? There it is. Little Trivial trivial Pursuit token. Uh, pop culture, Gran Torino. And it says Johnny Lightning down there as well. <clears throat> so that's pretty nice. It is kind of a thick plastic. It's kind of heavy. Um, and we have our little question card. So this is five little Trivial Pursuit questions about the 1972 Ford Gran Torino. Uh, first one is, where was the location of a famous movie, the 1972 Gran Torino Sport a Big Star? What? <laughs> That's worded a little weird. Uh, what does the 1972 Gran Torino symbolize to the aging man in the film? The film Gran Torino, I assume they're referring to. Um, why did car manufacturers detune their once proud performance cars? Well, because the government said so. Uh, despite switching from performance to practical comfort, how did Ford's 1972 Torino 
intermediate design do or intermediate design do against the Chevy Chevelle? Uh, I think it outsold it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, with new standards on design, the Gran Torino aged terribly. What year did the collectors favor? What year do the collectors favor? If I had to guess, it would be the mid to late 70s, like the Starsky and Hutch car, or possibly the earlier years. Um, what movie has a car as the star and its owner is a main character and the director? What? What movie has a car as the star and its owner is a main character and the director? There we go. Jeez, I could not, <laughs> I couldn't word that right. Um, yeah, I don't know the answer to any of these questions. Ooh, but you know what? Ooh, I have a cool idea. So, if you do know the answer to any of these questions, or if you have this car and have this little trivial pursuit card and you want to leave some answers, uh, leave a comment with the answer to some of these questions or if you know the answer to all of them and then in my next video I promise I'll remember to do the answers for these questions but you got to tune into my next video and make sure you watch it and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll read the uh, answers to all these questions at the end of the video for you so we'll get that somewhere where I won't forget about it We'll get our card here. We looked at this, the uh, Trivial Pursuit. Doesn't have any facts or anything on it. And then it is the same on the back as the other two. So we'll get that into our box. And uh, let's get one more good look at this car. This is a really nice looking car. I'm really excited to add this to the collection. Really, really sweet. We uh, Did we look at the license plate on there? Um, says Michigan. OEM809J. Uh, -O so just a regular, regular license plate. And there is, look at the undercarriage. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we will get these three. I'm dropping stuff already. We will get these three cars into the parking garage and take one more good look at the three of them for the last time in today's video. All right, so one more time. Oh, oh boy, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, shaking you around there. So there is our 49 Mercury Coupe with the Rat Fink paint job and custom rims. Our 1966 Chrysler Imperial Crown Custom or uh, Black Beauty. The Green Hornet's Black Beauty. Our 1972 Ford Gran Torino Sport. And then I also put the uh, 71 Gran Torino Cobra next to it. This guy is from a uh, much older video. But go check that video out too. You gotta find it. <laughs> um, but yeah. That is our three new cars for today's video. And like I said, leave, uh, leave your answers to the uh, Trivial Pursuit questions for the Gran Torino. And um, I'll read them off to you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today, guys. So make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and go ahead and hit, uh, ooh, stumbling over my words here. Hit the subscribe button for me. There we go. And I'll see you in the next video.